What is up, guys? It's your girl, Lady T, the Life Coach, and I am here with another video. What's up to all my T-Birds out there? I'm so glad and happy that you guys have been liking and commenting and sharing my videos and subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate it. Okay, guys, so today I would like to talk to you about letting go. This, to me, super duper important especially with the new year coming in letting go what am i what am i talking about i'm talking about letting go the things that have hurt you letting go the things that you are that have not gotten over letting go of the people who have hurt you situations that's hurt you things that you just cannot forget about listen guys let it go if you don't let it go, what is it doing? It's keeping you bitter, angry, upset, confused. You don't know what to do because you're still harboring and holding on to something that happened years ago. I'm not telling you to forget. I'm telling you to let it go. If you don't let it go, then it's keeping you bound. It's keeping you a prisoner and you won't be able to do what you want to do. Because why? You are a prisoner to that thing or that person that has done something wrong to you. You need to let it go. Why harbor it? You need to search deep inside of yourself, deep inside of yourself to, to the center of your core and to, 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 to reach in there, to touch that part that's, that's holding on. And you need to tell that part, let it go go. You won't be able to be free unless you let it go. You have to let it go. In order for you to be productive, to be successful, you're going to have to let the things that hurt you go because you'll never be able to move on unless you let it go. I'm not telling you to forget because you never want to forget. If you forget, then you allow the thing to happen all over again. So you remember but you let it go to the point where you're free from it to where it can't hurt you anymore. It can't, it doesn't affect you anymore. Things happen to us for reasons. Things happen all the time to us for reasons, but we don't supposed to hold on to it. We are supposed to let it go. A lot of times we go through things in life and we, and we think it's for us. When we think, oh my God, why did I go through that thing? Why? Why me? Why not you? Maybe you're the teacher for somebody else. Maybe you're the one that learned the lesson for somebody else that when they come along and they're going through the same exact thing that you've been through, you can help them out. You can give them the advice. You can tell them how to get out of it. It's not about you, but it is about letting it go. You can remember to help somebody else. The only time you want to bring up past hurt and past pain and difficult situations is when it's helping somebody else. If it's not going to benefit other people, then you need to let it go because it's not benefiting you harboring it, being bitter and angry and upset. It's not helping you at all, but it can, it can, it can help other people in different situations at different times, appropriate times. That's when you can bring it back up. That's when you can talk about it. Tell, tell how it how you uh, been through this and then you overcame it and how you overcame it. That's what you that's what you're using it for. The pain has a purpose. The pain is to make make you more productive, to make you more powerful, to give you purpose. That's what pain is for. Pain has a purpose. Pain has a job. Let pain do its job, and you move out of the way. Because after the pain, you should be more productive, you should have purpose, and you should be powerful. Because that's what pain will do for you. But you do have to let it go. You have to let it go to move on and use it at the appropriate time when you need it. Again, when you're helping somebody else. That's when you use it. So you put it in the vault and you don't harbor it for, for ill feelings. 
You don't harbor it for, for bad uh, feelings and bitterness and anger. You don't harbor it for that. You hold it and you put it in the vault for when it's time to use it, you can use it for somebody else. You can use it to help somebody else's situation, going through the same thing that you have already been through. That's what it's for. So let it go for now. Let it go. Move on. Move on. Learn from it. There's a lesson to be learned in everything that we go through in our lives. There is a reason why we go through what we go through. God has purposed things to happen in our lives for situations, for reasons that we may not know about when we're going through it. But you will find out. There will be an answer later as to why you had to go through that. And usually, guys, usually it's because a person's going to come along and is going to need you. They're going to need you to help them out. They're going to need you your assistance and your advice. They're going to need you to help build them up and encourage them out of that situation. They're going to need it. So you need to go through certain things. We, we need to go through certain things. But we're going to forgive people and we're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. We're not going to harbor it. We're not going to hold on to it. We're going to let it go. And this is what you need to do. Let everything go that's holding you back from doing what you need to do. Because you're bitter at somebody or angry at somebody else, you can't move on. And most of the times, if it's a person, we, we're bitter at the new, the new person. We're angry at the next person. And they, that person, they haven't done anything to us. But we're angry and we're bitter. So somebody else has to suffer. That's, you know what that is? That's toxic. Letting, not letting go and hanging on to, to bad situations and bad things that happen to us. It's toxic. It's like a poison in our body that will kill us if we don't let it go. You got to let it go. You must. Unless you, unless you want to die, but it will slowly but surely eat you alive. It will eat you alive. The Morgans... All up in there will eat you alive. Because like I said, it's like a poison. It's like a toxic situation. It's toxic bitterness and anger, frustration and jealousy and envy, all this stuff. Let that stuff go. Let this past stuff go that hurt you and the stuff that you keep harboring that you hold on to, let it go. If you got to let people go, let them go. Anything that's not helping you to be productive and successful, in your life and purposeful, you need to let it go. Let it go so you can be free to be who you're supposed to be, who God promised for you to be in this lifetime. You need to let it go. All right, guys, this is your girl, Lady T, the Life Coach, and I hope that this message has helped you today. You need to let it go so that you can live. And remember, guys, I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, guys, all right? And I will talk to you soon. But don't forget what I said, guys. Let it go and live. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.